After a couple chaotic days running from Hurricane Kay and riding the storm out on anchor in San Carlos, we spent a couple days recouping in the peaceful anchorage of Puerto Don Juan alongside our buddy boats Calico Skies and Delos. Our days here were spent wandering around in the desert with some massive cacti and a couple wild coyotes. And even though this was quite relaxing, after a few monotonous days, we decided to get moving again. But this time, we changed things up a bit. Well, after about five or six days, anchored in Puerto Don Juan, we're finally on the move again. We spent all of the time there just hanging out on the beach, having a bonfire. We did a lot of wakeboarding. We went for a little hike. Uh, we saw some coyotes. It was a cool little spot and it was super chill. The anchorage was like really calm, which was so nice because we didn't have anything to worry about. So we could just hang out with our friends and have a lot of dinner parties and stay up way too late a few times. But today, I've got new crew on Delos. Kaza is with me, with Sierra, and Brooke went for a sail on Delos. So that's kind of cool. We get to experience something a little different, show how we sail, and hopefully Brooke's over there learning some good things from Brian. I don't think there's anyone better to teach you how to sail than Brian. So hopefully we have a nice little 16 mile cruise up to a little anchorage called Alcatraz today. Uh, these three switches right here control like the autopilot and the windlass and the electric winches. So we turn those three on. That powers up all the stuff. Okay. And then over here, we have like the chart plotter, 12 volt outlets outside. The instruments are already on. That's okay. pretty much it. Easy peasy. All right, let's, let's go. Do this. So, this. So, that's our throwing line. Okay, so to get the mainsail out on Delos, uh, it's basically these two switches. And so if you flip this one back, it unfurls the mm -hmm. sail, right? And then this is the outhaul. So basically you do a combination of those two. So we just alternate these two. Yep, exactly. Got it, okay. Yep. See, perfect. That's easy. Pretty cool, right? So basically the mizzen is virtually the same, uh, except it's not electric, it's manual. So this is the furler. So if we hit this, you'll see what happens up there. See it furls in and out. And then these buttons are the primary winches. So that one and that one. Okay, we'll get that hook up. Just go ahead and start unfurling this, the sail, and you can just sort of watch it. Moving. We're sailing. All right, first sail on Delos, and you sailed off the hook. How about that? <laughs> like Sierra. Almost like you've done this before. Yeah. You can feel like all the power. Yeah. That's really cool. I she's feel a, like she's our boat's like so much lighter. It's cool to like feel how heavy Delos is. How's it going, Kaz? Yeah, it's a little bit different than Delos. Like the wheel feels a little bit more like friction, I guess. Or I don't know. But I like it. It's good. I like the little sail and the big sail, like the jib. It's good. Where's Delos at? Yeah, we got a little head start now. Oh, I don't know if we can see them. They're all the way back there. <laughs> We cheated, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello, Dallas. This is my life. Hi, what's the wind doing up there for you guys? So, we're going about 2.5 knots and it's about 6 knots. Yeah, what's the wind angle? It's actually just like really shifting from going more from behind. Uh, we're going to put up the spinnaker. We're just curious what it's doing up there. Yeah, I think that would be a good choice. Woo! Spinnaker 
time. Get good and trim a little bit. Four knots of wind. We're doing two knots. She's flying. It's like barely enough wind to even keep it open. I know, right? <laughs> so sad. <laughs> hey, at least it's pretty. There's a volcano in it's front of us. It's very pretty. Look at that mountain over there. It's, there's no wind and there's no seas, which is great. And all the boats have their spinnakers out when life just wasted there. It's, it's weird seeing it from this perspective. What are your thoughts about sailing on Delos so far? Yeah, Delos is just like a really smooth boat. You just feel her like power and everything's so smooth. I feel like one life is... She's old and <laughs> everything's a little bit more rusty. It takes a bit more pat like manpower. Yeah, this is a very this. automated really boat. Nice. How's that? So nice. No jellies? No jellies. I'm really surprised. Awesome. It's really nice. Well, we gave up on a spinning career because it is not enough wind. <laughs> Plain. One life. Pulled the plug. There's the first. He's a quitter. He's a quitter. Gary's a quitter. <laughs> We're only going two knots and we still have like nine miles to yeah, go. Yeah, we need to get in and have some sundowners. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Bye guys. How do you want to set the anchor? Do you do uh, it? I just okay. do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just push this button. Everything's so easy on Delos. <laughs> That's it, huh? That's it. <laughs> Good job, Gary. High five. Just in time. <laughs> Before the sun goes down. Yeah. We arrived into Alcatraz Cove just in time for sundowners and got ready for another fun filled day. Our buddy boat trio would soon be parting ways as we all had haul out dates scheduled in the near future. We asked our friends to meet us at the beach with their game faces on. There was only one way to celebrate our final beach day together. I hope all the other boats are watching this and making fun of us in there. I, I hope they're I would be <laughs> if, I, if I watched them, like, who are these morons? <laughs> all right, so the gang's all here now. They didn't have their outfits ready. They weren't prepared. So now they're getting their uniforms on and then we'll be ready for the opening ceremony. All right, we're almost ready for the activities to begin. We have the game set up, the teams are putting on their uniforms, and then we'll get started. Okay. Getting ready for opening ceremony. What's the opening ceremony? We have this really fancy bottle of liquor to share with everyone. Yeah. This is One Life's Finest, MD 2020. Straight up from Panama. Straight up from Panama. I'm ready! 
Today we have three events. It will be Team One Life against Team Delos against Team Calico Skies. The first event will be the Paradise Village Paddle. <laughs> Let's do the shots. <laughs> Cheers. 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 On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Welcome to the arena for round two of summer camp finale. This is the Chiapas Challenge. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Uh, wearing a button-up shirt is not my strong suit, apparently. Mary the penguin. Okay, the third and final round is the sea lion scramble. Winning the Paradise Village Paddle was Team SV Delos. <laughs> Winning the Chiapas Challenge was Team One Life. <laughs> and <laughs> winning the Sea Lion Scramble was Yay! Team Calico Scarlet. <laughs> And as the sun set, there was still one more festivity ahead. Everyone went back to their boats to put on their finest attire. And then it was time for one last dinner aboard One Life. Jeez. After cruising up the Pacific coasts of Mexico, our time together has finally come to an end. Ooh. I feel pretty fancy. We have wine glasses. It is hard to explain the bond we've developed in just a few short months. That tie works great with that shirt. I don't even know if I remember. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> we've laughed together, we've cried together, and we've made the most amazing memories. The next day, Calico Skies left for Puerto Penasco. One Life wasn't scheduled to haul out for another couple days, so we headed to one last anchorage with Delos.
Not long underway, we caught a little mahi, but as Gary grabbed the de-hooker to let it go, the mahi jumped off the hook. After a short little day sail, we dropped anchor next to Delos in Porto Refugio. Refugio is a picturesque spot nestled between some small islands and two low-laying peninsulas that slope down from the island's rugged 3,000-foot peak. We had the place all to ourselves, with the exception of a few passing fishing boats and some sea lions. The next day, we decided to go on a little mission. There was a giant rock nearby where sea lions scattered about. It looked like the perfect place for one last scuba dive of the season. Normally, we descend down and hope to find marine life. But as soon as we hopped off the dinghy, the sea lions came to us. These little guys were so playful and curious. It was a pretty spectacular way for us to end our last dive of the year. Wow, that was cool, huh? Really cool. We're really so cool. playful. We're down there for 40 minutes. Look at all fun, baby. And just like that, our time in the Sea of Cortez had come to an end. It was time to pack up our stuff and get underway. One life was scheduled to be hauled out the following morning, so it was time for us to say goodbye. Bye! Bye, friends! See you later! As we glided over the glassy flat seas, we couldn't help but look back on all of the highs and lows we had experienced this past year. We left the safety of the Caribbean, not knowing what would lie ahead. We transited the Panama Canal, made it to the Pacific Ocean, scuba dived with sharks, visited some of the most remote places in Panama, hiked to one of the most biologically diverse rainforests in the world, made new friends in Honduras, met up with old friends in Mexico, had mechanical problems, weathered our first hurricane at anchor, and sailed over 10,000 miles since we left Florida almost three years ago. It's been such a wild year, and we can't wait to see what 2023 will bring.